After three years of devastating drought, heavy rains are finally expected to fall between the months of October and December this year. According to Dr. Gulaid Artan, Iged Climate Prediction and Application Center Director, as a result of the heavy rainfall experience across most of the region from March to May 2023, increased precipitation from October to December later this year may contribute to flooding. This year, uh, as you might know, there is a, a new that's on us, actually uh, has been active for the last three months and be active till uh, uh, mid uh, next year. And we have the return of uh, a new after three years of La Nina uh, and seven years. And usually when you have an a new, what we see in this region, especially in the equatorial sector of Somalia, Kenya, Tanzania, Eastern Ethiopia, Uganda, is that the rains are well above average. This has, however, been sounded as a warning of a potential after harvest losses to farmers across most parts of the Greater Horn of Africa region, which includes South Ethiopia, Eastern Kenya, and Southern Somalia. So the uh, season is expected to start early, especially over the eastern areas, and uh, expected to start late in the western part of the country. And uh, basically we know that western part of Kenya is harvesting season, so we should be prepared for post-harvest losses, especially in areas where onset is going to start early. Another significant phenomenon known as the Indian Ocean Dipole is also said to be developing over the Indian Ocean and will reinforce the El Nino impacts. October to December constitutes a vital rainfall season, particularly in the equatorial parts of the Greater Horn of Africa, contributing 20-70% of the annual total rainfall. The start of the season will likely occur early in parts of the region, where elevated rainfall is anticipated. In contrast, probabilities favor an average or delayed onset over parts of northern Somalia, western Kenya, Uganda, southern South Sudan, Rwanda, Burundi, and northwestern Tanzania. Hilary Kabila, GBS News.